Okay, well, we're uh, the preseason portion of our schedule is done, and, and we've had a, you know, we've had about a month of practice, and, and uh, had a, a scrimmage and an exhibition game, and, and now all that's over. So uh, we open up Friday night at South Florida down in Tampa against a really uh, good team from the American Athletic Conference. It's a, it's the first of a two year uh, series. We go down there Friday night, and they'll come back here next year uh, in December when our on a week night when our students are here. So we're excited about. Uh, open up with those guys, but uh, uh, it's been a uh, it's, it's been a really good uh, preseason. We've got a, we've got six uh, six guys who Friday night will be their first Division One game, so I know they're anxious and and but we're anxious to get down there and see where we're standing. It'll be a really good opponent to to see where we are this early in the season. Are you hoping anxiety for those new players doesn't turn into mistakes on the floor? Yeah, I mean that, that's definitely the the which the concern that that it turns into. You know, just the nervousness of playing in your first game. We we saw it last Thursday night. Uh, even even though it was a home game and we we're playing against AUM, we saw it in, in in a couple of those new guys, particularly both of our point guards. Uh, B.J. Miller's a guy who had four turnovers Thursday night, and he's been playing. He's had a terrific preseason, hadn't turned the ball all, hardly at all, and uh, and he he struggled a little bit. And I I credit much of that to the nervousness of playing his first college game. You guys had five uh, five guys in double figures um, the other night. Can you talk about what you guys were able to do offensively that led to have to so much success? Well, the first thing is we finally we've got some depth. We're healthy now. Uh, we played uh, we played 11 players, and even Christian Harrison uh, didn't get to play because he had strep throat. He's back now, but he was out. So uh, just just having depth means there's an opportunity for more guys to score. And and because so many of our races in terms of you know who's going to play the minutes, and some of those 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 position battles are really close right now. And but what we did Thursday, we wanted to give the, the guys, the newer guys, a chance who hadn't played uh, to get the majority of those minutes. And that's why you saw some of the guys uh, like a Jordan Bernardo and Aaron Ariri, uh them score like they did. Jordan had a great game. Talk about his expectations this year, being the younger brother of a uh, stud from Mississippi State. Yeah, Jordan, he's got a chance to be a special player. The, the, the thing that stands about, out about him, two things stand out about him. Number one is versatility. He's, uh, he, he, can, he can stuff a stat sheet, you know, just like he did Thursday. He had 10 points. Uh, he, he had a double-double, rather. He had 15 points, 10 rebounds, and five block shots. So he just he hits you in a lot of different ways, and, and which is good. And, and the best thing about his performance the other night was he, he hit two out of two three pointers, uh, which when he can do that, that's when he's really dangerous. Uh, so he's got a chance to a chance to really be good. Is that the kind of length that you're looking for for your whole front court? Yeah, we'd like to. You know, we like guys who are long and athletic and, and can move. Uh, you won't see us uh, bringing in too many guys who are just total low post players we, we like you know again length and athleticism and, and because the way we want to play is we want to get up and down and we will set a lot of ball screens and we want to have guys who can run to the rim and and spread out and play like that and Jordan uh, particularly with his ability to shoot the three uh, fits that bill very well well, Wesley is a guy who, who first thing I always say about him, and, and, and it takes me back to I didn't answer that complete, your question completely about Jordan. The second best thing about Jordan is his professional approach to everything, and, and that leads me right into Wesley, uh, who, who those two guys are so similar in a, in a sense that I can't remember either one of them having a bad day. Now, Wesley's in year two. He's in year two. He's had an off season. He's had a fall, his second fall workout. Now he's through his second preseason. Uh, he comes to work every day, and, and, and that's what we preach to our guys, just consistency in terms of effort and attitude, and that's made a, a difference in his game. His body's better, he's, he's, he's stronger, he's, he's quicker because of what he's done in the weight room. But uh, the thing that I think that will really help Wesley this year are our two point guards, uh, Daniel Peace and, and B.J. Miller. I mean, they're, they're going to get him shots in transition because they're so quick, and, and I think he'll really benefit from having them out there with him. Would you consider him one of the leaders on this team? Is this a sophomore? Uh, definitely. He, he leads by example. He's not the most uh, vocal guy. You know, as he as he gets older and, and, and moves up in class, I think he'll be even more vocal. But that's not really his personality. Uh, but 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 what he does so well is just leads by example. And again, if I'm on this team, if I'm a freshman on this team, and I see the guy who was freshman of the year last year, and I see how he approaches practice every day. 
Uh, and he doesn't take he doesn't take drills off. He doesn't take plays off when we're, when we're scrimmaging five on five, and, and he, he's just always ready to practice. So so he just I, I would hope that he rubs off him that way. And sometimes you, sometimes guys who lead by example are even better than a, a guy who wants to talk about it all the time. Wes, you guys scored ninety points the other night. Uh, what were you guys able to do offensively to have so much success? Um, this year for us, one of our um, main things we're going to play faster. You know, we're going to try to get up more shots and we're going to play better defense. So that's going to start with rebounding. We're a smaller team this year. So a big thing for us is every, all five guys have to go in and help rebounding. Once we rebound, we're able to push it and get out and transition and score. We got um, more shooters this year. We got guys that can score quickly in the, on the post. So that's one of the reasons why we've been able to score points. Coach Cunningham said that you are a guy that leads by example. What what are you trying to implement into this team as you lead? You're essentially a leader as a sophomore. So what are you? How are you leading this team on and off the court? I'm just main thing is um my lead by example. Just like try to uh, implement my work ethic into some of the guys on the team. Um, I'm a guy that you know works hard every day, coming uh, coming in after practice, getting in the extra reps and things like that. So by doing that, if some of the guys on my team follow, then we can um. Help get um, help start building this program up, and we can um, do some back, more big things. Coach highlighted the young guys, Daniel Peace and B.J. Miller. How do you think those those young guards are going to play into this year's offense? Oh, they're, they're um, both of those guys are um, really good, quick point guards. They're going to be able to you know pressure the ball defensively, and um, they're very good you know seeing seeing the floor. So look for them to have tons of assists and um, on the defensive end a lot of steals. So they'll be good.